Yo, what's going on? Nick Kicks and Comics here. Want to say uh, what's up to everybody? Just figured I'd go live in the middle of the day, kind of see what this format is, test it out in the lowest possible visibility, and uh, show off my slab collection at the same time. All right, so I'll leave the chat open. Uh, if you want to hop on, talk about some stuff, let me know. And uh, let's get started. These are in no particular order because I'm trying to figure out uh, exactly what my uh, my method for organizing is. But most of these are up for sale or something not a 9.8. Yo, DJ Link's in the house. What's going on? Bro, I'm just bored in the middle of the day. Nothing going on. I figured I'd just try this out, see who's on. They want to BS with BS. So let me know if you want to hop on. All right, so we'll start, and I apologize for the glare. First appearance of the Thunderbolts, CGC 9.6. Uh, hopefully, the Winter Soldier will be uh, debuting these. I'm really psyched to see what, what they got possibly going on. So uh, We'll try another very disappointing one if the rumors hold true. Uh, this was a book I was on the fence about, and... Yeah, if rumors hold true for King and Black number five, it won't be good. I would have lost money. So, Ben on number three, first appearance of Null, and about the only redeeming quality is I have the uh, I still can't point the special. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. I'm a little drunk in the middle of the day, so. The rumor is that uh, Eddie being the new god of light, and I don't know if this is true, it's just what I heard. Um, he's going to just be a Mary Jane and, and just hand Null his ass without much of a fight from Null. And then at the end of that, he's going to just tear the symbiote from Dylan, uh, just rendering him powerless. So. Just what I heard. I don't know if it's true. I hope it's not true because I stand to lose a lot of money. A lot of people stand to lose a lot of money. And those those issues would probably just tank. So uh, we'll go on to the next one. First appearance of the Illuminati. This one I've always had in my collection. I got this one graded. Let's see, it's a 9.6. Uh, we'll see what the MCU has to do with that one too. Ooh. This one I just picked up. Uh, always had a Pretty big character, one of my favorite characters, so I figured I'd uh, pick up his first appearance. Hey, No Good Comics, what's up, man? How are you? Happy Tuesday. Um, this one is Daredevil 131. First appearance of Bullseye. Graded 9.2. It's even got the Mark the Jewelers in there, so thought it was a cool pickup. Uh, and actually, that, that Daredevil series on Netflix did him justice. I kind of felt bad for him. But uh, I need to see the guy like he really should be in, in the uh, in the MCU. Little spec here, first appearance of Richard Ryder as the Nova. Uh, hopefully coming up soon in uh, either the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's actually work. So give me one second. You always got to have a little. Always got to have a little something disrupting you. The work's getting in the way of my comic stuff. I can't believe it. But hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, it's going to be new comic book day for me because uh, my comic store is able to sell me stuff. Again, sorry, guys. Like most of you guys, I'm working too. So, all right, back to the show. Uh, this one I picked up. It was I think four or five bucks. This is Batman Beyond 18. Uh, this is the first appearance of uh, Batgirl, I think, in the future. But came back as a 9.6 because I. Couldn't grade. I'm still not that good of a grader. So <clears throat> now, leading into before, this is the first appearance of Dylan Brock. 
I got this one graded at 9.6. Well, we'll see what happens in King and Black 5. Uh, I'm not going to sell those or anything. I'm just going to hold on to them. really doesn't make much sense to get rid of them at a loss. So this one, too. And then I think this is the origin of Null. Else out of 9.6. 9.6 hits continue. This is Batman, Mark of the Devil, Number of the Devil, Number of the Beast. First appearance of Damian Wayne as Batman. Shout out to a certain Batman fanboy who I won't name yet, but he knows who he is. Another book I picked up at a pretty good price. So I was like, hey, why not? It looked pretty good to me. So no big loss. First appearance of Damien here, Remy Q. This is Batman 656. First appearance of Damien. Is he or is he not the Red X? We'll find out. Another one of those I've always had in my collection, some spec on this. Possible first appearance is some debate in the community as to if this is the first appearance of Batman uh, beyond Terry McGinnis and DC continuity. But these stories back then with the McGinnis art, I always, I always liked. So uh, they've always been in my collection since way back in, uh, I think, the mid-'90s. So there it is. Another one I had since 2012, some Court of the Owls goodness, Batman number four. Like to keep all these 9.6s in a, in, a, in a good place. First appearance of Harper Row here in Batman number seven. This was an awesome storyline. I, I loved reading Batman back in the day. I'm trying to get back into him now, but DC Comics as a whole for me has just been. Well, we'll see. All right. We'll get to this first appearance of Codex, some more Venom letdowns. This I got as part of um, Slabbed Heroes 175 gift gift set, gift box, mystery box, whatever you want to call it. This one as well, Free Comic Book Day. This is also the first appearance of Codex. I think predates the one just before it. Good to see you guys hanging out in chat. Appreciate you taking time out of my day. I'm going to have to wrap it up and uh, get back to work. So give me a second. They actually have the nerve to make me want to earn my money. How dare they? Can't they see I'm live streaming? No, they can't, which is a good thing. <laughs> All right, this is part of my uh, my entry into the YouTube world mystery box. This was part of the eye candy box I got. This is the 1 in 400 Return of Wolverine number one uh, in his X-Force costume. Pretty dope cover. Happy to get these. And this is his 1 in 500, the, the patch version, 1 in 500. Another dope uh, McNiven cover. This one just came to the crib yesterday. I was looking for this one. I was happy to get it. Focus. Amazing Fantasy number one. First appearance of Aranya Sanchez. Who knows what she's going to be doing. But um, with most of my grails out of reach, I just wanted to collect books that make me happy. And uh, that was one of them. Now, getting back into collecting, these were, I think, some of the first issues that I picked up, and some of them just happened to be 9.8. Daredevil 25, nullified version. First appearance of Elektra as Daredevil. Pretty good story. Daredevil, in my opinion, always been a little underrated. But this is the cover A version yeah. of that guy. And it's a dope story, too, if you want to get on that. I think uh, we're up to issue 27 now, 27 or 28. And the last one is Venom number 7, variant edition. Again, who knows what's going to be going on with Venom. Now we're in the future. Who's going to take over the mantle if there's going to be one? 
But that is box number one of seven. Uh, I just wanted to show off what I had. I know a lot of guys have a lot of different things. And for me, collecting now is all about uh, just having covers that make me happy, cool, cool ass covers and some stuff that I had in the PC and a few other modern ones. But uh, since work is calling, I'm going to call this a quick wrap. Just wanted to test it out, see who's on maybe during the day. Appreciate it. No good. Appreciate it, Lynx. Appreciate it, Jeremy. Uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, I'll see who's going on later on tonight. Hopefully we'll catch, uh, catch you guys in some of the lives. And I still don't know how to point. So um, I took that idea from Chip Gettler. He's got a cool little blackboard in, in the back, and he's got all the stickers for everybody. Uh, so as you can see, I got Lynx's and Adrian's on, on there so far. So uh, hopefully that board will be filled before soon. And uh, that's about it. So hope your day is going well. Hope it continues to go well, and uh, we'll catch you guys later.